Hello, and welcome to another pixel art tutorial video. Um, sorry it's been a while, um, you guys have been asking for me to do more videos, I see everyday subscribers being added, which confuses me a bit, but uh, thank you very much and uh, welcome to the video. Um, today I'd like to show you how to make um, this uh, crate, in, uh, mo and uh, mostly I'm focusing on the texture. Uh, if you'd like, I can also do the modeling part of this, since it's very simple. It's just a cube with another, well, cube, it's a, a box with another box. Um, as you can see, this crate has uh, two different sides, one with a diagonal bar, one without, a bottom, and since this is in 3D, I also decided to give it, to give it an inside texture as well. Um, before I am going to get started in Photoshop, I'd like to ask you uh, what are you using my um, tutorials for? Because I find it very hard to estimate what people want to see. Um, are you making 3D um, things like like this, this, these boxes and stuff? Um, or are you making 2D stuff? Are you making a game? Are you making an artwork? Uh, please put in the comments what you're making. This is not a call to have more comments on my video or anything, but I, I generally want to know what you're making and how I can help with that. I intend to make a few more videos soon. I know it's been a year. <laughs> Whoops. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So let's go to Photoshop. I've uh, set this up. I have uh, site A, site B, top and bottom. Um, as usual, I'm using my favorite color palette, which is uh, Dawnbringer 32. If you Google that, DB32 on Google, you'll find it. It's my absolute favorite. So the colors I'm going to use is actually this row here. Um, for the absolute darkest shadows, I'm using this. A bit lighter. Still shadows using this. This is the main color, the crate. Then this is for highlights, and this is for just a bit more highlight. So I'll just get started with um, filling these in. Um, go with a one brush. So first let's see. We're going to have, so this is a side and I want to have horizontal planks in it. So let's see, it is 32 pixels because I'm making 32 by 32 um, textures. Uh, which is uh, neatly dividable in 4, 16, which is not a division of 4. So let's just start like that. I should have just started with 8, now I look a bit silly. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know how to count, divide, and math. I am a programmer. <laughs> am I? Um, so I'm making just. Um, my general starting point with anything pixel related is um, I set, I choose a position where the light comes from. In this case, um, the light comes from from up here. So this is this is the sun. So I have a plank here. So the highlight is here and here, and there'll be a little extra highlight here, um, and then of course it'll be a tiny bit darker in this corner. Um, and this looks a bit unbalanced, so I like to just put the main color in the corners. So that's a good base already. Let's just copy that. So I'm I'm selecting, um, and then Control and Alt to copy it on the same layer. Um, so technically, this could be the side of a box, but if we think about how a box looks there's um, in this case I decided to make it two pixels wide there's there's the side of these planks are still shown and it helps with creating a bit of um, depth to it and feel like give people the feeling that you thought about how this object works so what I like to do is um, put that there how did I do that Okay, yeah. So, um, like this, you have one plank, and then you see the side of the next plank. 
Um, and of course, these planks aren't just slapped together. Uh, they don't s just stick together. They're not glued together. They're nailed together with planks that are on the inside, which are in the in this direction, like this. So um, there's going to be nails here to keep it in place. Oh, it's too much. Now, unfortunately, there's no center position unless I went to make nails really big like this. So um, it's going to be off by one, which kind of bothers me. But hey, let's see where do I want to put it here. Um, so a nail is generally, if you s if you slam a nail into a, a plank of wood, it'll have a little indentation. So I like to show that like this like there is the light is coming from this and it's catching the side of the indentation I'll just copy this over now I also like to like, make some of them darker but maybe this one is missing the nail um, I'm not sure if that is that might be too extreme with the variants uh, let's try it like, like this first. So there's also it's the same on this side. Um, now this is rather boring looking, so I like to put just a bit of um, a, a blemish in there. Maybe here as well. Like there's a little dent in it or um, a knot in the wood. So in the other side we will have a a diagonal a diagonal plank Just merge this um, it will basically look the same but let's just get rid of this for now maybe get rid of these um, let's try to estimate how broad it would be um, let's just use use a different color. Uh, um, this is just a temporary color. I estimate here. Okay, so I I clicked and then I sh held shift and I clicked here and it will automatically um, connect the lines. In this case, I guessed right where the exact diagonal was. Yeah, I guess wrong here. Maybe here. Yeah. So I will replace this with the proper color. Get rid of the. Hmm? Oh, right, like this. The background blanks, which obviously you can't see unless you're using some kind of magical transparent wood, which I will not judge if you do. Um, like that, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need to think about this a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I probably want to put these here and make this darker um, to make it stand out a bit. It's um, <laughs> I'm trying to simulate ambient occlusion. So you have um, you have a plank that is basically sticking out in 3D, and in in the edge, it will be slightly darker. Now I'm not sure if this will work out, but this might provide some extra depth to it. And I want to make this lighter, and these darker. I like that. That gives um, some extra feeling of depth to it. Actually, these should not be those, but this. No, nope, that's wrong. Now on the other side as well. Mm. So I need to make a choice. Is this the downslope of the plank or is this the shadow? Um, since it's sticking out in 3D, I would say this is, might be the sh shadow or not. I like that. That looks that looks better. Um, sometimes you need to decide. Like, do I want to have 
two um, dots of the same color next to each other, well, they are not the same surface. So in this case, I would like to have the shadow here, but it, it doesn't look right because this seems to connect while it's not supposed to connect, so I'll just put the shadow here. Probably want to put this here. Just so there's there's no highlight because it's slightly in the corner. Um, and this as well. Now in this case, I wouldn't mind putting it here. No, same problem. Okay, so now let's put these back in here. That maybe? Yeah, that looks nice. And then these back here. Do the same thing. I like that. I do think we want nails in this as well, because otherwise it'll look just a bit silly. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, Alright, I think we have the sites complete then. Then let's move on to the top. So what the top would look like with this um, sort of structure. Now hopefully I'm going to do it right here. Take this. So um, to make sure that it connect correctly like this that there is a plank here and this plank ends here oh, I'm gonna do this wrong aren't I um, let's yeah, all right. so this is not gonna follow the rules of the light coming from the top left um, correctly because every side, technic uh, if you combine every side, the light doesn't make sense. It it it's c always coming from the top left, and if you move the the box around, it'll it'll be four different places. So for this one, I just need to kind of guess. Um, oh, this is. Uh, <laughs> is difficult. Okay, so let's just put this in the corner everywhere. Why is this one? Oh no. So confused. Yeah, like that. Nope, not like that. I'm really bad at this. I'm not good at explaining things. <laughs> Um, this plank goes like that. I guess. I guess I'm. I, I still am doing it. I'm still looking the light. For, that is. That's what confused. That's what's throwing me off. I'm still using the light from the top left, which is not correct. So I need to do it like this. Um, just have that one here, and just replicate don't think so much replicate what the other looks like right mm. and these oh I've gone and confused myself again yes that Nope, that's the wrong way around. Yes. That should be correct. Alright, then, um, so these would be the four planks that, uh, that are coming together. Um, and then we want to create um, the feeling of that it goes down a tiny bit. And then there is a lid inset in there. 
I could also make this horizontal, make them horizontal and vertical, but I prefer to make this one diagonal um, to bring this uh, the, the the diagonal plank a bit back, and also just to break the pattern a bit. So I'm just gonna set some diagonal planks in here. So these have the highlight coming. Uh, these are obeying the the proper light direction again. Sorry, have the light coming from the top left with a shadow. Like this. Um, now, since these go into dark, I'm gonna put the uh, put a, a deeper shadow here. Now again, I could have it follow the proper line where it would be, but then this line and the shadow is sort of connecting. In this case, it's kind of okay, but I like the look of this better since it it breaks up the um, the connected parts. Um, now this, we could have this be one, and uh, if you want, you could also put some variants in there, like put uh, have a, an alternate variant where the the planks are either in a different direction, or um, maybe have a little knot in there, a little hole, something like this. I'll just put that on the main one. So like this, you would have the um, two sides, the top and the bottom. Now, if we want to go one step further, we could also um, make textures for the inside, which um, isn't 32 by 32, but would be this size. i bring it over here. So the idea would be that it is on the inside like this. Let's make this... No, um, since this is on, on the inside, I want to have a darker main color. Um, and let's see where the nails would be. The um, darker color nail here, here. So I uh, reduce the opacity of the layer to see through it. And I'm putting the nails in the correct spot. So this is where the nails would be. Um, so on, <coughs> could actually do it like there is the front plank. No, the corner will be. No. So there's the the plank that is nailed against these planks. We could we could still show the back of the other planks to create a bit of a 3D effect. No, I don't like that. Again, this this is causing me issues again. The nails are actually um, off center because there is no center. What I I could cheat. I could just do this. It's a bit naughty, but um, you're not gonna know where it is. So I just could just put them in the sort of center. Um, yeah, I like that a lot better. Just move this one along as well to have the corner be a shadow, which will help with again the sort of ambient occlusion feeling that there's shadows in corners of things. Um, well not until so I'm just going to apply the same plank logic again. There is. Um, this color from the top and um, mm. now I'm unsure if I can do that yeah since it's not connected anyway yeah so it's just the same thing and then I want to actually have the inside of these planks show up So technically, they would be 
here. Well, these are not in a nice position, so I might again just cheat them a bit. having a highlight extend there. Oh yeah, this needs the bottom of course. Now I yeah, I think I'll do that. Go even one step darker because I have it available to me. It's not entirely balanced, but um because we're working with uh, 28, 14, 7, 7. Right, let's, let's, it should work, right? It should divide by 4. 7. Am I bad at math? I was confused because it was, instead of showing the height of my thing, it was showing how much I had moved it. Yeah, now, now it fits. Um, so let's... Oh, no. Yeah, oh, that's the right color. Give them the nail indents. I might move that one, the top one, because it's not, it's not in a good position. So I don't actually know how these kind of crates are constructed, but this kind of makes sense to me that there's planks of wood and there's planks of wood on the inside keeping this together. Um, <laughs> if anybody knows how boxes are constructed like this, tell me. Or, or don't. Just leave me in my fantasy. That feels good. So this would be on the inside of each box. Um, just look at the details. Yeah, that seems right. So I think we have all the sides then that we want, except maybe the bottom. So the bottom of the inside, which would be this pattern. I think I'll just go with making everything one shade darker. Which is not a smart way of doing this. I could just select color, but some yeah, yeah. So, um if you want to select all of this of the same color, which is something I'm using a lot in pixel artwork because I'm working with a palette I can do color range, select this color, make sure fuzziness is at zero, otherwise you're getting bleed over to different colors. Now it's only selecting this color, but it's selecting this color everywhere. So I have my I have M selected, the selection tool, holding Alt and Shift to only to reduce the selection to what is in my second selection. So now I'm only selecting the colors in this, otherwise I would be overwriting it in everything in my document and that's that's not ideal. So this would then be the inside of the box. Um, I think that's all steps complete. Uh, it's not exactly as I made it in my original one. Um, in my original one I just made like these same planks on the inside and not thinking about what the nails doing, where the nails going to. Um and I just used this bit as the the bottom. Let's 
see. It 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 doesn't look right. It should have been the same tintings as as this. Um, but hopefully you found this useful. Um, this is the end of the video. Um, thank you very much for watching, and and please tell me what you're using this for, so I can help you and create better tutorials. Um, if you want me to give you some ideas of what I could do, I could um, make a tutorial for this kind of box, which is um, different from all the other things that I've done so far, because um, it is uh, two 32 by 32 textures, technically, together. Not mirrored, but working together. I could also um, I could explain how I made this kind of set, uh, which is actually based off of... Um, what is it? Gothic Revival style? It's probably not exactly Gothic Revival, but it inspired me to um, make this kind of um, interior stuff. Um, I could also touch on more 3D. I think these are kind of very simple 3D shapes. Um, hello? L lamp? No? Okay. Well, that's a lamp. Lamp is 3D too, somewhere. I could also touch on Unity stuff. Um, I make games in Unity, so I could talk about that as well. Please, tell me. Uh, thank you for your time.